G'day, this is a quick station news video on how to make a simple clock circuit that's the basis of a computer. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You can see I've got a, uh, a button rigged up and it's currently clocking in at uh, 1 hertz, which is um, up and down every 1 second, and that's uh, hooked to a logic writer that's actually making it do that. The circuit's really simple, and I've got to admit I stumbled across it when I was trying to do uh, something else, but anyway. Uh, what you do is you build a math unit and you set it to uh, mod and this unit is called T2 and and you uh, build a compare unit and I've called it T2 compare and on the math unit you set both 1 and 2 to the compare unit and then uh, as I said it's a mod a modulus calculation so you see this is flopping between 0 and NAN so, so NAN is an illegal operation that's okay for now. On the compare unit we do a similar thing we set the compare unit to not equals and both of the inputs are set to the math unit so um, what actually happens is you see how you can get a, a zero one state going which is it's trying to equivocate between this and it's uh, it's taking away the error and replacing it with a zero so just to reiterate the math unit both inputs are set to the compare unit and the compare unit both inputs are set to the math unit the math is set to modulus calculation and the compare unit is set to not equals and so the compare unit now flops between 1 and 0 which is a computer clock and I've just got a logic writer here to read the compare unit output it to the button and just activate the button um, on the state of the compare unit and that's how you do it and that's the basis for more complicated computer systems you can put NAND gates together someone out there cleverly could probably build a, a pocket calculator or something like that with uh, registers and all sorts of stuff with, with enough real estate um, but I just thought this was a very clever way to um, to get that simple uh, operation happening and beca because that is now on that circuit anywhere on this uh, area power area you can uh, put a logic writer and then get a um, you know a flashing light for example or just a counter of some sort hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching